absolutely fitting for me because I love tubes. Oh, and I have a boat. That's for Hey, what's up my little adventure buddies? Today, I gotta find seven geocaches to hit 200. Right now, we're at this one that has uh, really kind of a weird beach access area. We got a house right over here, one right over there. We thought we were on people's property, but this is uh, Saanich Parks. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I feel sorry for the people that own houses here that have to put up with the likes of us. They probably spent good money to get away from people like me. Suckers. Went over on that island there, and it was placed by Stanley Loves Bacon. I swear, that guy must be a world-class swimmer or something like that. Okay, so the numbers seem to be a bit off. We were told it's under this footbridge here. Good work, she bag. So I think this is uh, this is bamboo here. So I didn't realize that on the island we have the uh, the temperature or whatever to grow bamboo. Um, there's like a a bunch of shoots all around us. Some bamboo. I could uh, start kicking these with my shins like Jean Claude Van Damme and kickboxer. I might become a kickboxer. Watch this. <laughs> okay, so in my last geocache video, we I took you on a little tour of Cadboro Bay. Now this geocache is called Cadboro Bay View because you get a beautiful view of Cadboro Bay. And I'll show you that just in a second here as we walk down. A little longer than I thought. Okay, can't quite see it here. Just a little bit more. Just bear with me. Come on. And uh, just a second more. And uh, bam. As I was showing you my beautiful home, uh, Shebag found another geocache. She does really well when I'm doing the videos and she's finding them. Maybe the next few I'll get. Okay, so we're going for 196 and it's in a park up here. And uh, <laughs> isn't that absolutely fitting for me because I love tubes. Oh, and I have a boat. That's pretty awesome, I like that. That's kinda it's like a bird house, but a boat house. House for rent is what this one was called. I shouldn't have ran to it because now I'm showing off how good a shape I'm in. Number 194, we're in another beautiful spot. You can see Bane's Channel over there. This is actually called Bane's Channel. Um, geocache and we're gonna go down around it here this area here and find it I lied it's 196 I only have four to go I got confused with the maths nice good find she bagged the wiener again while well, I had the camera out. Decided that's when she was going to look. <laughs> Classic. I was pointing at it and then she found it. Ooh, so. Okay, three more to go. 197. We're at another beach access. Um, the cool thing, we're at this uh, place. So this is called like 10 Mile Point. There's a whole neighborhood where it's just kind of into this like little peninsula. And the last one that we were just at, um, called Bain's Channel is actually at the easternmost point of Vancouver Island which is kind of neat and uh, we'll go down here show you the beach access here and uh, yeah anyways this is uh, this is 10 mile point there's 
probably like 30 geocaches along in this whole neighborhood. But we're just going to find a few until I get to 200 and then, you know, I'll keep coming back. I just live on a boat around the corner over there in Cadborough Bay, so that's pretty neat. Kind of cool, you get like just this kind of private little beach area right here. I'm sure that at some point you get some sun down here, but uh, you know, it's a nice little little pebble beach. 29 meters. Check this one out. That is pretty awesome. So this one was called The Dark Knight, and, uh, and, and there's good reason. That's bad. Okay, this is 198. It's called Kid Commando, and it's uh, in another park kind of area near the 10 mile point. And uh, I'm hoping it's a toy. I'll be pretty excited if it's a toy. I like toys, toys are fun. Okay, so no hint, but someone said it's under a dead fallen tree, and the size is a medium. Oh, that's a big one. There's a muggle. Silence in the cell block. And uh, we're still on 10 Mile Point. And uh, we're in this really cool park. When you first start off walking down this park, it doesn't feel very park-like because there's houses on either side of you. It's almost like you're walking in people's backyards. But uh, it opens up into... this beautiful park you see here and uh, normally the park's not that spinny but we're gonna go find uh, find this one it's my 200th geocache and uh, yeah it took me it took me a year to get 200 geocaches and that's not too shabby considering the last few months have been just to boot my boat so I do believe it is under one of these uh, wooden bridges, just from the hint. Would the hint say again? That is under a man-made um, wooden object. It tends to migrate and end up underwater. It could be woman-made as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually found out from someone that we saw out here that uh, this whole area floods. And she had mentioned, she goes, oh, is the geocache there? Because sometimes it gets washed away because it floods. But it doesn't seem like it's a floody park. But what do I know? Who am I, Bill Nye? He's a science guy. Bam! That was a pretty unexciting 200th one, but it was still kind of cool. It was, it was fun just to get out. I haven't been out geocaching in quite a while. I know um, I did that last one there at Cadboro Bay, but uh, you know, with uh, with a busy summer, with doing tell a story hive and just buying a boat and moving on the boat and everything, I haven't had much time to. I still want to do it. So, anyways, here's 200. If you like that, click the me likey button. If you haven't already and you want more boat life, van life, geocache life, adventures and things, um, then I highly suggest you subscribe. And, uh, well, don't forget to get out for some adventures and things.